guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin so goku had been reborn but in universe 13 because in that universe there was no god to keep him in an order you're saying you will have to overcome the power of all the gods and angels i have granted you another opportunity but when you are ready, you will have to do something for me. Of course, yes, it'll be. To make your training much more effective, accelerate your development until you become a teenager. That warrior, who had an extremely incredible power to be able to grant him another opportunity, being able to accelerate all the growth of Kakarot, providing him the same way his clothes, but Goku on this occasion would ask for the same outfit of Black Goku. <laughs> As you wish. All of Goku's clothing would be replaced by a black outfit, which represented all the evil of his being. It's time to train. I plan to be the warrior who destroys the divine world. Meanwhile, the planet Earth, with along with Beerus, would report everything that happened to the Z warriors, leaving them a little surprised, but Vegeta inside is satisfied. Without the Kakarot insect, there's no warrior, which I will not be able to reach. So now I'll try much harder to finish with every garbage. So it was, like all the warriors, it was up to them to accept the decision of the great Xenosama. But everyone was satisfied, just like Vegeta, because they came to the conclusion that because of Goku, warriors always came wanting to destroy everything. Goku has been my best friend, but he's the best thing that could have happened to planet Earth. No, Bulma, it's the best thing that could have happened to all universes. On the planet of Beerus, the god was very thoughtful about what happened to the same, remembering the battles they had, being the first to make him know the defeat. What the hell happened to me? Why do I feel so guilty? That monkey was a threat! Mr. Beerus, you cannot control your emotions, and you cannot eliminate from your mind what is next in your heart. You better than anyone know that, thanks to Mr. Goku, Universe 7 survived. That's right, Wiss. You're right, but I don't understand because they ended Goku's life. I also don't understand it, Mr. Beerus, but there must be a very big reason, because when a warrior rejects the position of God, only his memories are eliminated. Something very serious is happening with the top brass of the divine world. I agree with you, Mr. Beerus, but we don't have the authority to manage to do anything. Meanwhile, on planet Earth, Vegeta, with his new grade training, was able to achieve a new power, comparable to that of an ordinary god, but it would not be worthy of the power of the most powerful god, that is Beerus. Vegeta would request the training of Whis, so Beerus would accept the Prince of the Saints train on his planet. Thank you very much, Mr. Beerus, as I want to be much more powerful. Beerus would not say anything about it, but he would leave to take a nap while Vegeta would continue with his great training, but he was not the only one. Since Goku was also undergoing rigorous training, he was even facing beings whose powers were of another level, since Universe 13 was full of beings of great powers. The power of gain's incredible, but it's still not enough to end the life of Daishaken and Xenosama's bastard. But in the Kingdom of the All, a very negative energy was being released, since in one of the dimensions of the palace, a crack, three-dimensional was able to leak, being able to release an essence which corrupted every being that had contact with the energy. Great Xenosama, are you sure it was the right thing to eliminate Mr. Goku? That's right, Daishenken. He's my best friend, but he's a very annoying mortal and his power seems to have no limit, so it was the best. Meanwhile, with the gods of the universes that had returned to life, a very powerful goddess felt that something was not right. So, she would begin to investigate everything that had happened. Realizing that the most powerful god of the 18 universes had not been resurrected, but on her visit to Universe 13, she was able to have a slight confrontation with the Saiyan, who proved to not be at all weak. You are a very peculiar mortal. You have a comparable power to defeat the simple gods of destruction. But to face us, you still need... Simple gods? What are you guys? 
Are they not gods like them? Ha ha ha! Honey, you're so wrong. We're not to the same rank of those garbage. We are called the Heavenly Gods. Heavenly Gods? What's the reason for those names? The Celestial Gods are existences just as old as the kings of all Xenosama. But as geniuses exist in all ages, that useless little one, despite having the thought of a simple child, was able to totally overshadow us. So you guys have been training for millions of years, but Xenosama was able to overcome them. And for that matter, he was able to take the position of king at all. That's right, you're right. I don't know what relationship you have with that bastard, but I know that dwarf destroyed his six universes. Wouldn't you like to get revenge on that bastard? Of course I would love to. That wretch I end up with several beings of my race, but not content with that, I would destroy our universes. Let's unite. We don't have the required power yet, but we'll be able to do something against that miserable. Ha <laughs> Saiyan, you have great goals. But it's impossible for a Saiyan like you to face a king at all. Ha! <laughs> I know I don't compare myself to your power, but unlike you, I haven't even been training for a hundred years. I know I'll get revenge on that damn dwarf, whether with your help or not. A little surprised by Goku's statement, Nin decided to trust him, taking him to her planet. Am I doing the right thing? Oh, what would happen if a king died? All this would go through Nin's mind, which was very serious, but the moment he arrived at Nin's planet, which was in Universe 14, Nin would ask to observe all the power of Goku, since they had previously had that confrontation without using all his power. This time, do you want to have a little battle against me using all my power? Or do you want me to raise my power to the limit so I lose speed? I'll take the first option, since it's no use having great power if you don't have the speed required to do something against the beings of Xenosama's palace. Goku would begin to access the Ultra Supreme Instinct, but the power he was channeling was incredible. That's right, his energy veins would expand to twice those of an ordinary warrior. Usually, any god or even angel has 208 energy veins, which are responsible for increasing the power of the user. Some prodigies are capable of even having the ability to thicken their veins, so that the power carried is much lighter. But in the entire multiverse of Xenosama, only two beings had been able to access the Second Awakening, which he returned to grant 208 energy veins, possessing a total of 416 veins. His body was able to withstand a gigantic power without exploding nor losing speed. Nin would be surprised because the power that that warrior was expelling was from another reality, since he was able to even his planet is destroyed in several parts. If he has the necessary power to destroy my planet, this Saiyan is on par with the power of us heavenly gods. But he is stupid. I repeat on several occasions that he only uses the power that his body supports. From a big explosion, it was possible to observe Goku, who physically had not changed, since the Ultra Instinct remained the same, but as he walked towards Nin, his body seemed to sink, hinting at the pressure and his weight were terrifying. Honey, you have an incredible power, but if even your body sinks into the earth, your speed must be lousy. Nin, as if it were on lightning bolt, was inches away from hitting Goku, but was shocked when Goku, his very cold and serious look, was able to stop her blow. Nin would quickly recoil, feeling an incredible pressure expand from the body of the Saiyan. Don't think that if you intend to hit me, I'll stay watching. I have hands to defend myself, but I don't want to hurt you. Nin, a little upset at being underestimated, she would throw herself against Goku, but to her surprise, Goku, despite having all that great power, was able to dodge each of the blows without any difficulty. Goku was able to connect a slight blow to Nin, but she had felt as if the planet had hit her stomach, being sent to fly to a nearby planet creating a large crater. Oh, I'm sorry! I thought you'd be able to stop that blow! Nin would stand up, and in the same way begin to raise her power. That's right, the power of a celestial goddess. It was incredible, because all over the place, large colored clouds were created while in the same way, lightning and thunderstorms were formed around the goddess. You are a powerful Saiyan, but you have been able to make me take you seriously, and with that alone, you have been able to earn my respect. Nin began to exchange blows with Goku, 
Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, Vegeta was able to achieve a new power. That's right, Vegeta, the Prince of the Saiyans, was able to master the destructive energy of a god of destruction, accessing the Ultra Ego, which would leave a little surprise to Whis. Mr. Vegeta has been able to master the power of destruction. Apparently, not only Mr. Goku was special. But Whis was completely wrong, because if we compared the speed with which both raise their power, Vegeta was a simple child compared to Goku, much less which he was training with beings which even surpassed the power of the Guardian Angels. This power is incredible, Whis. Nothing, and no one will be able to defeat me. I'd like Yakra to be kept alive to defeat him myself. Mr. Vegeta, I'm afraid to inform you that, although your power has grown in an incredible way, it does not compare with the power of Mr. Goku. What do you mean, Whis? What do you mean I still don't compare myself to his power? What Whis wants to tell you was that with Son Goku, despite using all my power, I was defeated. It even forced Whis to use 51% of all his power. While with you, I'd have to only use 85% of my power to be able to defeat you. Mr. Beerus is correct. He still wouldn't be able to defeat Mr. Goku in an even match. Furious, Vegeta, since Goku was always able to overcome it, he will decide to train much harder. Returning to Universe 14, Goku was able to compare himself with 70% of Nin's power, which left her surprised because if she raised her power much more, the other gods would be able to perceive her power. I give up. This is not the time to fight between the two, but you have great power. You are amazing. Goku would return to his base state given a smile. What's going on? What's so funny to you? Despite being a celestial goddess and having used 70% of all her power, you don't compare since I only used 43% of my power. Nin was very surprised since a warrior had not trained for millions of years like them had the necessary power to defeat her. That's amazing. We will have a chance against the cursed one of the kingdom of everything. Because despite having that great power, you still have to learn to fight with your aura. With my aura? What do you mean? Without warning, Nin was able to create a claw from her simple aura, which at the moment of heading towards Goku, was able to dodge it. But when making contact with the ground, a big explosion would be created, sending Goku flying for a few mountains. Ah, that hurt me! The true celestial gods, we will be able to fight with fist, while our auras likewise attack. In short, it would be as if two individuals are fighting. Wow, that's interesting. I want to learn how to master my aura. Thus, the training of the Saiyan would begin, while, like Vegeta, both Saiyans were increasing their powers. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of the Whole, the divine essence of Daishenken was changing more and more, since its essence seemed that of the ancient demons. That's right, the essence of Daishenken was no longer the essence of a guardian angel. It was the essence of a destructive demon god. What is happening to us? I feel like my mind wants to explode just like all my organs. Both of Zeno-sama's guards at that instant would fall to the ground because Zeno-sama, involuntarily, was able to absorb the essence of each of them, obtaining much more power. That's right, the beings of the Kingdom of the Whole were out of control while Goku would continue with his great training to destroy the entire divine world. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. Subscribe.